This video is for those of you that want a sneak peek into the last three problems of 5-3. So I'm going to provide that here. Um, the first one I'm going to do is the one at least in my third or no fifth hour class we did not finish today. We kind of threw it out there and um, we ran to a dead end and so that's how class ended. So I'm going to try to finish that one today. And if you remember the lettering I had, this is actually example I that we were working on. Um, it is secant x plus tangent x equals 1. Now, if you haven't been to class yet, third hour people, you might wait on this one because we're going to go over this in class on Thursday. Um, so what do we do with this one here? Uh, one idea we had in class one of my classes was changing secant x to 1 over cosine, tangent to sine over cosine. Seems like a great idea. You get to, um, what does that become? You get to 1 plus sine over cosine equals 1. But that's not really good. Uh, it, we ran to a dead end. So this problem requires a unique move that uh, will take some time to get used to. What we're going to do is split these two trig parts up. Split them up and it'll look like this. Again, this is a solving equations problem. We are looking for all solutions from 0 to 2 pi. So this is not a verifying identities. Solving, looking for solutions from 0 to 2 pi. Um, the reason this is good, somewhat good, is uh, this is looking kind of like a Pythagorean identity now. That's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, try to utilize Pythagorean identity. So I'm going to, at this point, square both sides and that's going to look pretty good. If I square both sides, this is going to be secant squared. Squ with secants and squares, Pythagorean identities are possible. And this side, if you square it, be careful with this move. You might need to double check me on this. You get that, right? Um, and again, some, some stuff in here that's, that's good is that uh, we can now finally, remember one of our goals in solving trig equations is to change all the trig parts or trig pieces to the same trig type and now um, I can do that because uh, on the left side I have secant and I can change it to 1 plus tangent squared so what we have now is a big equation where we only have tangents and just wait what happens next let's throw everybody to the same side um, how about the left side we throw everybody left and look the ones will cancel the tangent squares cancel. All we have left is 2 tangent x equals 0. In other words, tangent x equals 0. Pretty amazing that this happens this way. And um, this one's going to take a little bit of practice, but the key again was um, moving the tangent, separating those so when you square them, you're not having some weird thing with tangents and secants, but each side only has tangents or secants. So what do we do here? Um, we're looking just for the solutions from 0 to 2 pi, so you may know the answer is going to be 0 and pi. Before we box it and move on, we need to check because we did a dangerous move in squaring in this part right here. Anytime you square both sides of the equation, you may be creating extraneous solutions because um, when you square negative numbers, for example, they become positive. Uh, they might not have worked while well negative, so we need to check these. If you go back to the original and you plug in 0 and pi, you're going to find that the secant is, um, let's see, what is this one? You're going to find that the secant is not going to like putting the pi in. Let me think about this. Let's just check these real quick. Secant of 0 plus tangent of 0 is at 1. Secant of 0 is the same as 1 over cosine of 0. That's 1. Tangent of 0 is 0. Yes, looks like that works. Let's try the other one. Secant of pi plus tangent of pi equals 1. Um, secant of pi is actually negative 1. Tangent of pi is still 0, but that does not work. So this is extraneous. Extraneous. And so our only answer really is x equals 0. So that's probably one of the tougher ones in here. Be cautious about that. Um, I think I will go on to the next page to do my final two examples. Hope this helped. Made with DoodleCast Pro.